Hi, this is Lars from Capture. I'm uh, making this video to show you quickly how to work with uh, the DMX mover and rotator motion fixtures in Capture. So what I've prepared here is a simple setup with a few profiles on a piece of truss and a couple of actors. And my goal here is to make the truss and the fixtures move. So what I do is I go to the library, I go to motion controllers, and I'm going to start with the DMX mover. So I drag and drop it into the project. I'm placing it next to the truss simply because it's what I will be controlling, so it makes sense to have it near the truss. Then I go to its properties, and I'm going to have a look at the X, Y, and Z ranges. These control how much I can move the truss and the fixtures, and in this case I'm just interested in uh, hoisting them up and down. So I'm going to remove the X and Z ranges and give it a Y range of 6 meters. And you can see that this is reflected on what the mover looks like. Now in this case I, I will prefer to hoist it down rather than up, so I am going to give it a negative range of 6 meters. As you can see the mover has a thicker blob here that is now an, on top, which means that the default location will be on top. What I do next is I give the mover a name. Uh, this is a good idea if you have several movers. Now <laughs> we'll just have one, so I'll call it mover1. Then I select the truss and the fixtures that I want to move. In the properties I locate the motion fixture property. I double click and I select the mover I just created. Now at this point we are ready to control uh, the truss and the fixtures. This can be done in two ways. One way is simply by clicking on the mover, opening the control pane and running the motion Y property. But I could also patch the mover to DMX, like this, the usual way, with drag and drop. And now I could run the position of the mover from my console and pre-program different positions. Also note that the mover has a number of different modes built in, so if I'm only doing the hoist thing here, I could change it to the 16-bit Y mode which means I have simply one 16-bit parameter which controls the position, or the height, rather, of the mover. Uh, I also promised to show you the rotator, uh, which works in a similar fashion. So what I'm going to do in this case is show you how to tilt the truss. First I will adjust the position and uh, the rotation of the mover so that it's actually vertical. So the position and rotation of the mover, the, the rotator, sorry, the rotator, is important because it defines the center of the rotation. So I've put it in the middle of the truss now. And by default, it's got a 360 degrees range, which I will keep at the moment. Now, the key thing in this case is not to attach both the rotator and the mover to the truss, but rather to chain them instead. So I'm going to select the truss and the fixtures without the rotator. Then I hook it up to the rotator, which I didn't name. And then I hook up the rotator to the mover, which means I have chained the rotator and the mover, so I can rotate the truss, that's rather crazy, but it works, as well as hoist the entire construction up and down. So I have individual control of the rotation and the move of the truss. And the rotator, of course, is also patchable to DMX. Uh, but it only has one parameter, a 16-bit rotation control, basically. So, I hope I've given you some insight on how to use the mover and rotator. Thanks for your attention.